I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, great customer service. Tested on all bands, works as it should. So, here are the old resistors, old SO239s, the gas discharge tube, and the metal oxide varistor. So, I'll go over everything I did. Touched up on a bunch of solder joints, tightened up on hardware. See the new resistors. Already have the bias mod, changed the meter protection diode that was shorted. Grab a screwdriver, some poignant stuff. Got the new plate choke installed. There's the old one right here. See how the wire went up and over. It burnt up. Okay, so that's been changed. Put the longer screw in the base. Resoldered the connection for the neutralization transformer. Uh, Remove the metal oxide varistor, like I said, and the gas discharge tube. And you saw that I, you know, you know what I did underneath the tube socket. So and I'll show you the new SO239. So. Okay, so that's about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Website is ampreparguy.com. Phone number again, 203-892-4119. Have a great day. 73. Everybody, ampreparguy.com, 203-892-4119. So, another Ameritron AL811H. This is an older one. Well... Uh, one, so 2001, has the older resistors, I'll pull one leg, make sure they all read with intolerance of 50k, and then I'll replace all of them, because these are prone to failing, and when they do, you lose uh, the electrolytic, so if they're still good, then the caps should last a long time. So, one of the grid loading resistors blew apart, so I had a tube flash, so... Take this whole assembly out, ground the grids right to the, the metal. I'll do the bias modification. It does not have the bias diodes. In series with the cathode return, the center tap. So I'm gonna do that and uh whatever else needs to be done. Oh yeah, gas discharge tubes, the base of the sockets. And this is how I tell people to tape the anode caps. See how they're taped up underneath carefully? Break off a piece and you go around one and a half times. This guy went more, but same over here. You just don't want them swinging around because the strap material will fray and then it'll have to be replaced. And you can also whack up against the wire. These are cer uh, ceramic, so you don't want that to happen. They can hit each other and get damaged also. All right, so it's getting a brand new set of Pentalabs 572s. Nice and clean otherwise, so this will be better than new. SO239s feel okay, so I can leave those. Okay, so I'm going to get to work, and I'll see you guys soon.